Back to story time with Mrs. Peterson. Ooh, ooh. All right, we're going to read a story today by Tommy De Paula, and the story is called "The Popcorn Book." The Popcorn Book. And now a word from our sponsor. Pop, 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 pop. Mom, can we make some popcorn? Yes, the popcorn's in the refrigerator. Yummy! I wonder why Mom keeps the popcorn in the refrigerator. I don't know. I'll go look it up. Here it is. Popcorn is best stored in a tight jar in the refrigerator, so the kernels keep their moisture. Boy, this is interesting. Listen, popcorn is the oldest of the three main types of corn. There is field corn, which we feed to animals like cattle and pigs, sweet corn, which is the kind we eat, and popcorn. The indigenous people of the Americas discovered popcorn thousands of years ago. The Aztecs called popcorn momochil and used it for food and decoration. The Lucayan people of present day, San San Salvador, ate and sold popcorn and used it as jewelry before they arrived in the 15th century. Spanish colonizers had never seen popcorn before. First I heat up the pan. But popcorn is even older than that. In a bat cave in New Mexico, archaeologists found some popped corn that was 5,600 years old. But I say, wow, that's old. And a thousand year old popcorn kernels were found in Peru. They could still be popped. Now, the cooking oil. The indigenous peoples of the Americas had many different ways to pop popcorn. One way was to put an ear of corn on a stick and hold it over the fire. Oiling the cob could keep kernels attached, even when they popped. The ho-hunk, the ho-chunk, also known as the Winnebago, were particularly fond of oiled popcorn on the cob. Another way was to throw the kernels right into the fire by the handful. The popcorn popped out all over the place, so there was a lot of bending and running around to gather it up. Okay, now it's hot enough to add a few kernels. The people in the Haudenosaunee, also called the Iroquois Confederacy, popped corn in clay pots. They would fill the pots with hot sand. Throw in some popcorn and stir it with a stick. When the corn popped, it came to the top of the sand and was easily to get. People of many indigenous nations were fond of popcorn soup. Soup? The Algonquins introduced popcorn to English colonists. The colonists liked it so much that they served popped corn for breakfast with cream poured on it. Interesting. Today, Americans consume 14 billion quarts of popcorn annually. That's 43 quarts per person. 30% is eaten out at movies, ball games, mm, and county fairs. But 70% is popped right at home. Wow. So most of popcorn is popped at home. Oh, giddy, the kernels are popping. That means the oil must be ready. People in the Midwest buy more popcorn than in any other part of the United States. Milwaukee and Minneapolis are the top popcorn-eating cities, followed by Chicago and Seattle. Now I'll put more kernels in the pan and turn the heat up. (laughs) I like how the cats are watching. Now here's the part I read first. Popcorn is best stirred in a tight jar in the refrigerator, so the kernels keep their moisture. If the kernels dry out, there will be too many old maids left at the bottom of the pan. Old maids are unpopped popcorn. It doesn't look like enough. 
If the popcorn does dry out, you can add one or two tablespoons of water to the jar and shake it until the water is absorbed. Shake, shake, shake. Uh-oh, he's pouring in more. wonder what's going to happen. Popcorn only pops because the heat of the kernel is moist and pulpy and surrounded by a hard starch shell. When the kernel is heated, the moisture turns to steam and the heart gets bigger until the shell bursts with a pop. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't put too much popcorn in the pan? Of course not, silly. Do you think you put too much? Some people tell that Tell the story that inside each kernel of popcorn lives a little man. When his house is heated, he gets so mad that he blows up. Oh, he's getting upset. And that's a silly story. There are different kinds of popcorn. White holus and yellow holus are the ones most commonly store, sold in stores. The smallest type is called strawberry because it has red kernels and the ears look like strawberries. Looks like this. <clears throat> Rainbow has red, white, yellow, and blue kernels, sometimes called calico. There is a black popcorn, too, but all of it pops white. The biggest kernels are called dynamite and snow puff. Shake, shake, shake. After popcorn is popped, most people like to put melted butter and salt on it. There was a yum. But if salt is put in the pan before the kernels are popped, it makes the popcorn tough. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, he's shaking the pan a little bit. There are many stories about popcorn. One of the funniest and best known comes from America's Midwest. One summer, it was so hot and dry that all the popcorn in the fields began to pop. In no time, the sky was filled with flying popcorn. I wonder if that's true. Here's another one. It looked so much like a blizzard, everyone put on mittens and scarves and got out the snow shovels. Oh, that was the end of that story. Wow, I wonder if they really had to get snow shovels and it looked like snow. They could just eat the popcorn. Help! I have a blizzard too! I knew you put too much popcorn in the pan. Okay, if you're so smart, what do we do now? I know. What do you think they're going to do? The best thing about popcorn is eating it. Maybe you guys can have some popcorn soon. Yummy. All right. Popcorn. <laughs>